Hello, Miss Steele here. So we are talking about value this week. So we are going to make our own uh, value fish and we're going to make them uh, a little fish bowl as well. So what you want for this project is a white piece of paper. I have some extra markers just to outline. An eraser, scissors, glue, a blue piece of paper, and then you want some crowns, and those are going to help us color it in. And then I also have a scrap paper bucket, so I'm just going to be using a few extra pieces of scrap paper to add some details to my fishbowl. If you do not have a bucket where you just put your odds and ends of like colorful paper whenever you cut out of it, I would highly recommend it. It definitely comes in handy for other projects. So I'm going to get all of this out of the way, and our first step is going to be drawing our fish. Fish seem like they would be kind of hard to draw, but they're not too bad. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to make a dot at the front of my paper, and then I'm going to draw a round line, and then I'm going to draw another round line. On this back side is where I can draw my back fin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two lines that kind of come out. So I'm going to turn my paper, and then I'm going to draw two lines that come out just like that. And then on the end here, I'm going to add a bumpy line. I'm going to add a few more fins for our fish, just so they can swim around a little better. I'm going to add one on top, so I'm adding a curved line. And then I add another curved line like that. And then I'm going to add the same, but I'm going to add two on the bottom. So I'm going to draw a curved line. And then I'm going to draw another curved line to connect it. And then behind here, I'm going to draw my fin on the other side. So I'm going to draw a curved line. And then bring it up to the top. So now we have the start of our fish. I'm going to add one more bumpy line here in the front, and this is going to be the face of our fish. So we can, at the top of here, add an eye to our fish so they can see. There's my fish's eye, and I'm going to give my fish a smile. He's happy. In this back area, what we're going to do is we're going to draw some scales. And to draw a scale, it's kind of like drawing the letter U. And I'm going to color these in afterwards, but first I want to draw them. And I don't want to draw them too small, because if I draw them too small, that'll make it harder for me to color in. So I'm going to try to draw them pretty big. So I'm going to keep drawing, and I'm going to stop once I get to my tail. So I'm almost there. And now I am finished. If I wanted to add some more details onto my fish before I start coloring, I could add some wavy lines on my fins and on my tail. I think I'm going to do that. I like to outline my fish because I think it's easier to color in that way. If you do not want to outline your fish, um, you can just start coloring it. But I'm going to go ahead and outline my fish just so it's easier to get all the details colored in. And then I'm also going to erase any of my pencil lines that might be sticking out. So I'm going to get my fish all outlined and then I'm going to erase all of my pencil lines. And then we'll be able to start coloring in our fish. And we're going to color in our fish a special way. And we're going to use value to color in our fish. And I'm going to talk more about that once I get this all outlined. So once I get it outlined and my pencil lines erased, we will move on to the next step. All right, so I have my fish outlined. Now I want to pick two different colors for my fish. And one color is going to be for the detail, and the other color is going to be for the scales of my fish. I think I'm going to grab yellow, and I'm also going to do blue. You do not have to use the same colors as me. You can pick whatever colors you want for your fish. 
So my first step is going to be coloring in all of my details. So I'm not going to color in the scales in here, but I am going to color in my fins, my face of my fish. So I'm going to get those colored in first, and then we're going to use the blue color that I picked out. And I'm going to show you how we can make different values using a crown. Now I want to color in my scales, but I want to use just my blue to make three different colors. What I can do is I can change how light or how hard I'm pressing, and I can get three different values that way. So for some of them, I'm going to color them in very lightly, using a very light blue like that. And then for some of my scales, I'm going to color in like I normally would. I'm going to press just like how I normally would. And then for some of my scales, I'm going to press really hard. And then that's going to give me light, medium, and dark. So maybe I'll color this one in very lightly. And then this next one, I'm going to press a little bit harder so I can get that normal value like how I'd normally color in. And then for this one behind here, I'm going to press as hard as I can while I'm coloring. And that's going to give me light, medium, and dark values. So I'm going to get this all colored in, coloring in some light, coloring in some medium, coloring in some dark, and then we'll move on to the next step.